Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I'll be showing you an extended example of how to attach Flask Admin to an existing data model. So, some months back I made a series of videos on how to create a workout tracker in Flask. Wasn't the most successful series of videos that I've made, but I still have the data model from those videos. So that's what I have here uh, from GitHub. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to apply Flask Admin on top of it. So you can see the process that has to be done to get Flask Admin to work. Because unfortunately, it doesn't work right away. There are some things that have to be done to make it work. So that's what I'll be showing you in this video. And I'll probably extend this to multiple videos depending on how much I want to show. But for this video, I'll just show you the basics and I'll um, demonstrate adding some things to the database once I have it created. So I've already copied this into Sublime and I have it here. So what I need to do is remove the things that aren't relevant to Flask Admin, because like I said, this was for a different set of videos, so I don't need everything here. So I'll remove the if name main down here. I did too many backspaces. So I'll remove that down here. I'll also remove the Flask Script Manager and Flask Migrate, because I won't be using those. So let me just remove those. Finally, I'll move the configuration to inside of this file. So I'm going to use SQLite for the database. So I'll be recreating this database. So SQL Alchemy database URI, not URK, URI. And let me just write out the string for this. And I'll name it workout.db. I don't have the database yet, but I'll have it in a moment. And then I need a secret key for Flask admin. I'll just call the secret key my secret. Okay, so now I need to import the things for Flask admin. So I'll add that below Flask SQL Alchemy. So from Flask admin, import admin, capital A. And then from Flask admin, contrib.sql A. I'm importing model view, which will be pretty important in just a moment here. So I think I have everything I need to create the database. So first, let me create a SQLite database. So SQLite workout DB, no tables yet. And then I will create all the tables uh, using db.createAll. So from workout model import DB. And then I'm going to call db.createAll. So db create all. Okay, so that should have created everything that I need. So let me check the database again. Tables. And I have the five tables that are in my model. So user workout exercises, exercise, and set. So I'll exit out of this. And now I'll make a few changes to get Flask admin working. Uh, one of the things I noticed when I was looking over this is I have made uh, exercise ID down here, a primary key. I don't remember why I did that, but it makes things difficult in Flask admin. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And that should be enough. So let me start up this. So Python workout model.py. And I'm missing something. I'm missing the if name. So before this was the script manager. Now I want it to be regular Flask app. So app run debug true. I'll save this and I'll run this again. Okay, so now it's running on my local host at port 5000. So uh, let me navigate there. And that's not what I wanted to do. So go there. Nothing's found. That's because I have to go to the admin routes, right? And no, that's not right. So there's one more thing I have to do. I have to actually attach Flask admin, which I forgot to do. So under SQL Alchemy, I'll attach admin to the app. So I'll save this and run it again. And now I have the admin screen. So I have the admin and I have home, which has nothing, of course. 
and I don't see my tables. So to do that, I need to use the model view to view them. So I'll do that for each of the five tables that I have down here. So admin dot add view. So model view. And then I will pass in each of the tables. So the first is user and I'll also pass in the database session. And I'll do the same for the others. So model view. Uh, the next one I believe is workout DB session. After that, exercises. Exercise. Still don't like this name, but it will have to do. Finally, the last one is set. Okay, so I'll save this and everything should have restarted, which it did. So now let me refresh and see if I see the other tables. So yes, I do. I see user, workout, exercises, exercise, and set. Um, I can add exercises without any problems, I don't think. So I'll call this squat and I'll save. Okay, so I'll create another one. Let's say bench press. I'll save that and I'll create a third one, deadlift. Okay, so I have three rows in this table that I just added through Flask admin. So that's the very first step to getting things to work. But now when I wanna add more, uh, you'll notice that I'll run into some problems. So like if I want to add a user, I don't think there'd be any issues here. So I see workouts here, but there's nothing. And I don't like that because it's a back reference. It's saying for this user that I'm about to create, attach some workouts to it, which doesn't make any sense because normally you would create the user first. So I'll create um, a user with my name and let's say units or kilograms. So I'll save that and I see uh, my name and I'll add another name. Let's say Jason and password will be secret and the units will be pounds. So I have these two here. Now when I want to add a workout for let's say me, uh, Flask admin allows me to select a date using the date picker because for workouts, let me go to the model here. For workout, the date is a date time column. So that works well. Uh, notes, I'll just put blah. Body weight, I'll put 80. And then user, here's where it's a little weird. So I see two user objects in here, but instead of names, they have memory addresses. So the reason why that's happening is because I didn't put a representation for each one of the, the models. So I'll do that right now. So for user, I'll define this underscore underscore R E P R function. It takes self and I will return, let's say user. And I'm going to replace the R with the name of the user. So I'll do pretty much the same thing down here. It won't make as much sense because there's really no name columns for these other tables. So workout, I'll just pass in the ID for the rest. So I'll just continue to copy this and I'll move it to these. If it has a name, I'll pass a name. So self.name in case of exercises. And then this one, I'll pass in the ID again. And finally, I'll do the same thing for set. So I'll save this and everything's restarted. So now let me click on this again and try creating a workout. So I'll add this date and then blah. And now let me see if I can see the users. Yes, I see user, Anthony, user, Jason, which makes it a lot easier to 
uh, attach a workout to someone. So I'll select that. And just like before with the user and the exercises back reference, uh, I see exercises here, which doesn't make sense because the workout would be created before the exercises in the workout. So I'll save that. And now I have a row in that table. So pretty easy to do. But once I start going down to these other tables, so I have something in user, workout, and exercises. But once I go to exercise and set, uh, I'm going to run into some problems. So let me try creating a workout and I'll show you what problems I run into. Once again, it allows me to select sets because there's a back reference, but it doesn't make sense to go that way. So uh, the workout is workout one. In the exercise, I will say bench press. And when I try to save this, I get an error because there is a column that is part of the primary key, but isn't shown. So in the set table and the exercise table, I have these order columns. These order columns are part of the primary key. And by default, Flask Admin does not show the primary key columns when you go to add something. So what I'll do now is I'll change it so I don't have to uh, worry about that issue. I can actually add uh, data to the columns that are part of the primary key. So to do that, I'm going to create new views for these two tables. So for exercise, I'll create a new view down here. And it'll make sense once I start typing the code. So I'll call this exercise view. So what model view is doing is it's taking like the default settings for displaying tables in Flask admin and displaying them, which is what I see here. But if this doesn't work for me, then I'll have to create a custom version of it. And to do that, I'm going to create my own view. So exercise view will be the view for the exercise table. So this inherits model view. And the only thing I'm concerned with right now are the form columns. So form underscore columns. Uh, I want the columns to be ID. And by the way, a Flask admin generates IDs for you automatically. But since I'm changing this, I may have to uh, type in my own key. But we'll see that in a second. So uh, ID, workout, order, and exercise. I'm going to use the table name for the uh, foreign key here. So not exercise ID, but the name of the table that this foreign key is pointing to, which is the uh, exercises table. And then I'll do the same thing for set down here. So class set view. And the columns that I want to display are, uh, type that wrong, ID, order, weight, reps, and exercise. So I don't want, uh, in this case, the back reference here, I don't want sets. So that's why I didn't include set in this form columns. And there's no back reference here, so I don't have to worry about it. So I'll save that. And now I need to update these views down here to reflect these views that I just created. So set view would now display set and exercise view would now display exercise. So I'll save that and let's try it now. So now let me go to exercise and go to create. And now I see an ID which has the red asterisk next to it, which means it's required. And then a workout, which I have here an order. So for order, I'll put one and exercise, uh, let's say bench press and the ID I'll put one. So I have to put this, well, let's try without it. Yeah. It's telling me that the filler is required. So the ID for this particular one will be one. So now I have a workout here and then I can add a set. So I'll start with the ID one of here, order one, uh, weight, let's say 50 reps, 10 and exercise one is the one that I just created. So I'll save and it saves successfully. 
So as you can see here, through Flask Admin, I was able to add data for each one of my tables uh, through the front end alone. I didn't have to write any queries to do this. I just wrote it. Uh, I, I attached Flask Admin and then I use the front end to add the data. So that's it for this video. It's been about 15 minutes, so I'm going to stop here. In the next video, I'll cover some other things that you can do in Flask Admin, but I think this video is a good start in showing you how uh, to attach Flask Admin to an existing data model. And looking back at this data model, I would do things differently, but uh, with the design of it, I had to work around some things like the order column. I probably would have order be a primary key anymore. I probably changed to something else. But uh, as it is right now, I think it works uh, pretty well with Flask Admin. So like I said, in the next video, I'll cover some other things. So if you have any questions about what I did here in this video, uh, just let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video, and I will talk to you next time.